If you press a leaf between dry sheets of paper, you can make an attractive and handy bookmark.
Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Shifty Nivy and if you enjoy goofy cozy gaming content then get your snacky snacks and snuggle in. And if you want to keep up to date with all my shenanigans remember to do all the fun things. The likes, the follows, the subscribes, all that good jazz because it appeases the algorithm archon and it keeps me in your feed. Okay so last we left off we helped Mamir and Seymour and Seymour regained some of his memories and then he went off on a solo quest and we're going to help him hopefully later on. Uh, we also met another mezzanine who needed assistance in finding some books that may or may not enable people to see something in a mystical sense. So we're kind of we're kind of vibing with them. I like what they had to say about Paimon. Um, and we had a new event that dropped. So we have a busy, busy stream. We're going to start with the event and then get right back into the side quests to try to get to our bounties and weeklies for Fontaine. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. And boop, oh, wrong button. Boop, and boop. All right, the verdict of blades. We've already completed the mega mecha melee. Now it's time for the Verdict of Blades. So from what I understand, this is a combat-based event. Um, as usual with the combat event, the hardest mode doesn't have the big rewards. They tried to keep it attainable. So you're gonna have the Perilous difficulty, the Quadrary difficulty, the Desperate difficulty, and then the Steadfast mode. Steadfast mode doesn't have a lot of rewards to it, and from what I have seen, which hasn't been much of the gameplay, um, it's redonkulous. <laughs> but we're gonna give it a try, just because we can. So let's go ahead and go to the first challenge. Navigate. Boom. I was wondering what this big arena out here was going to be for. I'm pretty sure this was already here prior to the event starting. Don't know if this is the team we're going to want here. Hopefully it gives us a chance to read over all of the shenanigans. Will it? Yes, it will. Okay. So when a character loses HP, that character gains 60% increase on all elemental and physical damage bonus for six seconds. Oisa, I think I said that, Oisa blocks will be present during this challenge. Okay, so we're going to have to like change the colors during the challenge. That would be interesting. Okay, we're going to go straight in for desperate. We're going for broke. We're all in. I didn't see that we were going to get any bonuses based on our party. But I don't think Tainari is what we need here. Oh, pardon me. Okay, I think we're gonna grab... I got the hiccups all of a sudden. I'm trying to decide between Nahida and M -M -M Mona. I'm thinking Mona. I think I'm feeling that double hydro moment, but that's that's increasing our HP. I don't think that's really gonna help us much. Um, so increased elemental mastery by double dendro might help us out a bit more or we could always get the campaign yes. begins my favorite power couple is together on the same team yes that's what we're doing we're going to go shogun already and ooh for doing shogun first one is physical and elemental damage okay ooh Sorry, no power couple. I just realized who All I right. need. Let's head off. I need my boy. I need Kazua. Okay, awesome sauce. Thanks for the feedback, Tomcat. I think I was misunderstanding it. All right, let's give it a go. This team's got it. Another Into the wind. Okay, good. The puppy's full. And Boom. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get all the wind going. Let's go ahead and throw his ulti. 
Boom, boom, boom. We're not taking a lot of damage, so I don't know if this is actually going to benefit us or not. But I think we're getting through it pretty quick. Nothing lasts forever. Boom. Right Nico now. love for everyone. Okay. See. The wind knows me. Just in case there were more of them, there were not more of them. Oh well. Nature. The depth back. Boom. Still. Bobo boys. Time is mit is. Oh, I can't think of. I can't think. I can't think of words. Seems like an emergency. Definitely taking some HP here. Definitely taking a little bit of damage there. Let's get some right Nico love out here. Mind the and Cascade. there we go. Get that hyper bloom going. Okay. Ooh, my headset is up way too loud. <laughs> Sorry if I was yelling in everybody's ear. Okay, so that was a lot of fun. Um, a bit chaotic, but we're here for it. Okay, where do we go for the next one? Is it gonna be in the same place? All right, we got all of our fun stuff. Okay, do we wanna try Steadfast just to say we did? I think we do, I think we do. I'm here to get my Heine handed to me. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's give it another try. Oh my gosh, Nuvillet on this team instead of Bobo Boy. Ooh. Oh, that makes me feel a certain type of way. All right, let's go over here to Steadfast and we're gonna at least attempt it. 14 opponents, okay. We had some time left on the clock, right? I think we've got this, maybe. Either way, we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna start with grouping and then Nico right now. by Zeus. And side effects. And the wind. More grouping. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. The wind knows me. Nico ulti. Right here. Emerge right now. And boom. Okay. Gonna go for his ulti. And let me go down. Oh, he's not ready, so we're gonna go for Baizu. Health comes first. A bit of hope. Chop everybody off. One with nature. Everyone in. And boom. All the water damage. Hopefully. Alright. Into the wind. Boom. Okay, let's see if we can get through these guys. Come on out. We're right doing okay. Right I think we're okay on time right now, but I don't know if it's gonna right stick. Right here. Emerge. Alrighty. Uh -uh. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Keep all of the elemental reactions going. Right now. Right here. Right now. Time to go. Squirrel. Oh my gosh, this is tough. I'm not even gonna get through these guys, I don't think. Seems like an emergency. Emerge. Mind the side effects. Alright, let's see if we can do it. We got 40 something seconds. Right now, right here. One so get everybody in. Close together like you guys love each other. The birds call. Come on. And boom. Right now. Emerge. So that Miko Ulti did not do as much as I hoped it would. Oh no, Miko! Oh, this is personal now. You hurt my baby. Remember, help comes first. Okay. There's no way in 12 seconds. Katahara can do a lot, but he can't fix this. Nope. Oh, that is redonkulous. I got a res Miko. She deserved better. Mind the side effects. There we go. All better. All better, Miko. Don't hate me. I tried. 
Okay. Oh! Oh, did the banner flip? The banner flipped. I know my honey was handed. <laughs> the banner just flipped. Ooh. Are we gonna? No, no, we're not pulling. We're, 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 we're holding out. Now that I know who's coming after this banner, I'm going to try really hard and be a good pop tart and not pull on this banner because we have Rothsley dropping and then Nuvilet and I need both of them. I finally, finally got yeah, my Cryo Catalyst user. I, I need, I need Rothsley, but I need Nuvilet just as much, if not more. Humans, Just because the he's new to life. Fleeting lives chronicled and but a few short <gasps> oh, good lines, luck, Tom Cat! Stories I'm wishing you all the luck. Dull reading. I will do a showcase on them after I get caught up on the event. All right, next round. Good luck, 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 luck. Run straight for desperate, and that is it. We are going just desperate. I'm not doing that other thing again. All right, here we go, and boom. Right here, right now, emerge. I am really curious to see how they build their Zhongli for the showcase. Be still. Oh man, I really wanted another Zhongli though. Mind the damage. Like new characters. Or the ones you've already got and get the constellation up. It's the hardest decision to make. It's the hardest decision to make. Taking a turn for the better. A bitter pill to swallow. Right now, right here. Emerge. Tomcat, let me know if you get him. I'm living vicariously through you. One with nature. All the moons adorn my night. The wind knows me. Show them. I'm always watching. Right now, right here. Boom! Go, Miko, go. Get your revenge. Okay, let's go get our rewards. Thank you. Oh, it kills me not having all stars. Uh, it kills me. But there's no way. There is no way <laughs> with that event. That's one of those where they're trying to see who's breaking the game and how. <laughs> oh, I find that you always that I always have the best luck the first hour that the banner has flipped. So I'm wishing you all the luck. At this point, you're guaranteed, but still, it would be awesome to get it, like, right at one pull so that you could go for another constellation. And let's see. Oh, my brain is fried right now. I don't, e I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. We're gonna do a quick test run. Oh, I've gotta pull in this banner or I won't get Feminette. Oh, okay. You got him? Congrats! Saving the rest? Who are you saving for? Let's have some order. Going to, okay. All right, here they're gonna give us the down low, but we're gonna actually go into his stats. Who do I think? Is it Rothsley? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. Or is it Nuvilet? But where are those who share the memory? Oh, that weapon is so pretty. Mr. Handling Business. You could say that for both of them. One's the jailer and the other one's the judge. <laughs> okay. We have Zhang Li in the Vortex Vanquisher, which is his gold weapon. You know, obviously. Uh, 
Golden Majesty increases shield strength by 20%. Scoring hits on opponents increases attack by 4%. Max 5 stacks and can only occur once every 0.3 seconds. While protected by a shield, his attack is increased. Ooh, 100%. That is nice. All right, we've also got him in Tenacity of Millilith. Okay. They're not going to let me see the substats, are they? No, they are not. Hmm. That's a different choice. I think I've got mine in Archaic Petra, which is also a viable option. All right, no constellation. Oh, HP build. You're probably right. Let's go here. What's his HP at? Yeah, 41. They went straight HP. Okay, so we've got normal attack, standard stuff. We Everybody's about the same on that one. All right, so with his obelisk, which is his skill, every mountain, rock, and inch of land is filled with the power of Geo. But those who can wield such powers freely are few and far between. So if you hold it down and press, it'll create a stone steel. Um, no, if you just do press, it'll create a stone steel. If you hold it, it causes nearby geo energy to explode, causing the following effects. Uh, if their maximum number hasn't already be re been reached, it creates a stone steel. It creates a shield of jade that will go around your active character, be it Zhongli or anybody else on your party. As you flip, it stays. Um, it deals AoE geo damage in waves. And there, if there are nearby targets with a geo element, it will drain a large amount of ge geo element from a maximum of two targets. This e effect does not cause damage. Okay. When created, the stone steel deals AoE geo damage. Additionally, it will intermittently resonate with other geo constructs, dealing geo damage to nearby opponents. The stone steel is considered a geo construct that can both be climbed, used to block attacks. Uh, only one steel created by Zhongli himself may initially exist at one time. The Jade Shield which is the shield that you get from doing the hold function, uh, possesses 150 damage absorption against all elemental and physical damage. Characters protected by the sh Jade Steel shield, the words, <laughs> will decrease the elemental resistance and physical resistance of opponents in a small AOE of about 20%. This effect cannot be stacked. All right. His ulti is, I will have order, and he just kind of like bombs everything. Uh, bring a falling meteor down to earth, dealing a massive geo damage to opponents causing its, caught in its AOE, applying petrification status to them, which is a stun. So if you're overwhelmed with mobs, it's a great move because it gives you a chance to kind of regroup and breathe. Um, petrification, opponents affected by petrification status cannot move. All right, passively, uh, he has, when the Jade Shield takes damage, it will fortify. Fortified characters have a 5% increase in shield strength. This can stack up to five times. Uh, he also deals bonus damage based on his maximum HP, which is why you do want to kind of focus his HP a bit. Normal attack, charged attack, plunging attack. All of that is increased by point, the 1.39 of max HP. Uh, stone steel resonance and hold damage are increased as well, and so is his ulti. So everything is affected by his HP. All right, and we also get a refund of the ore used to cra craft pole arms, which is nice. So that is the rundown of Zhang Li. Now Boats we are, are going to come over here. Ooh, what is this? And those this? that come across Leo tend to stay a while. What is so this? So it is where many things come. They gave us another five star for the test run. That's odd. Okay, we're going to take a quick second to look at the uh, the wild card here, Kaching. Kaching was the first DPS character that's an official DPS character that I ever pulled. She's a lot of fun. Uh, she does a lot of... She, she kind of reminds me, like, if you've played Elder Scrolls Online, she's very Nightblady, if you know what I mean. Um, so they've got her in Primordial Jade Cutter, which is her best 
weapon and also, once again, a five-star weapon. Um, this is odd. I guess it's because uh, Zhongli is a support type role in a lot of ways. Um, also, they've got her in four pieces of Thundering Fury. You can also split that, do two pieces Thundering Fury and two pieces Gladiator's Finale, and you'll get a little bit more damage. Um, at least that's been my experience. So with Kaching, she's got the standard five attack combo. Now, her ability, I'm gonna kind of cliff notes this a bit because it's it's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, she she and Al Haytham both have the ability to hold their skill in order to teleport up to various mobs and areas that you normally wouldn't be able to reach in game. Kind of like, you know, you can use an animal character's jump or something like that to get around some obstacles. She has the same kind of a function. Uh, she's probably one of the earliest characters to have that type of function. Uh, so if you hold her little dagger, you can aim it where you want it to go and she will teleport to that once you hit the skill a second time. You hit the skill once to place and skill again to attack to that area and she will teleport. Um, now, if you use it in rapid succession, she'll just straight up attack them, it will explode, and that's all there is to it. Now, if you throw it and you leave it, it will explode into a lightning AoE, kind of like a bomb situation over there, over away from you, wherever you threw the dagger. All right, her ulti is very similar to Shogun's ulti but you know, a little less flashy. She's gonna jump to each different mob and do a giant electro AOE attack. It's pretty satisfying, I'm not going to lie. Um, then she's got her, uh, that's Stellar Restoration, right? No, Stellar Restoration's the dagger. So when she uses the dagger, uh, while the lightning stiletto is present, AKA her little dagger, uh, her weapon gains electro infusion, so she's doing electro damage and in place of, I think, physical damage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, when casting her stalwart stored, her crit rate is increased. You want to build her crit rate and you want to build her crit damage. She is a crit rate, crit damage build in my experience. You can throw some attack percentage out there. It never hurts anybody. But yeah, you definitely want to focus her crit rate and crit damage. Um, she also gives you a bonus whenever you send her on expeditions in Liyue, so time is reduced by 25%, which is handy. All right, so that is Kaching. We all know Lisa, we all know Kaya, we all know we're not going to be touching either one of them. So we're going to start by focusing our Geo, our Rock Daddy, all right? His combo is pretty awesome. I love when he kicks his uh, spear out of the way. It's nice. All right, so we have his ulti ready. We're gonna go ahead and come over here to this guy. I'm just gonna go. Order. order. Order in the court. Oh my gosh, him and Nugulet on a team. I just imagine their dialogue is gonna be awesome together. So that's his, that's his uh, heavy attack. He, he just kind of goes straight, linear, nice. Crumble. Okay, I don't know if that was a hold. Yeah, it was a hold, so you can see that I'm doing waves of geo damage. Not that it's affecting the sky. Okay, here we go. So if you press, you get a steely that does a little bit of geo damage. You can see that it's bouncing off of all the other geo elements here, causing the wave. Here we go ahead and demand some order and Stay now right. you can see that the mobs are petrified which is nice all right now we're gonna give kaching some love all right so kaching is somebody you may lose your 50 52 so i threw that over there and boom she gets she does quite a bit of damage with her skill so we're gonna throw it over there and boom smack him in the face kind of fun I'm not gonna lie. Uh, then her ulti, like I said, the animation is very similar to Al Haytham and Shogun. She's going to just jump around like a crazy person and take them all out. She's like, where'd she go? There's also the option to auto-aim her skill, 
Like, I won't even aim, I'll just cap it. And it will automatically go to the nearest mob. Which is nice and handy. Speed of light. Hey! All right, we're gonna go ahead and use her ulti again. So you get you get some decent numbers off of her. But I feel like her skill is where it's at for her build. Same could be said Stabilize. for some other characters. Zhang Li's steals don't do a lot of damage. They're kind of handy for avoiding damage. But you can also use Ka Ching's ability to, you know, cancel damage if you're gonna do like her ulti it'll make it to where you know, you're not getting hit because she's jumping around all over the place or you can use her skill to get out of the way of a heavy attack if you're fighting like a boss or something so both of them are great utility characters i'm kind of surprised that they put a five star in there for zhang li's uh you know showcase thing but i get it because he's not really big damage you know what i'm saying unless you're doing his ulti so that's Zhang Li and Ka Ching on the side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go over Child and then Femnet. I don't know, I haven't tried him yet. I'm gonna be trying him right after Child. I'm excited about him though, because I think he's gonna be an HP or defense build. So we're gonna check him out here in a second. Okay, let's claim our Fremos. And next up is Tartaglia, AKA Tortellini, AKA Child. Now I haven't run him a lot because I don't own him. Like I have Zhongli, but I do not have Child. So I'm curious as to how, I know he switches weapons kind of like Shogun. I'm curious as to how that works. Does he use his delusion in combat? I don't think they could do that but maybe we'll see all right i'm very familiar with this weapon because i lost a 50 50 to it one time um all right so elemental skill and burst damage are increased by 12 percent after a normal charged attack elemental skill or elemental burst hits an opponent one stack of ash and night star will be gained for 12 seconds when one, two, three, or four stacks of Ash and Night Star are present, attack is increased by 10, 20, 30, or 48%. The stacks of Ash and Night Star created by normal attack, charge attack, elemental skill, or elemental burst will be counted independently of each other. Okay, that's nice. Oh, he is a learning curve. I'm glad you pulled him. Okay, we have him at a full set of Heart of the Deaths, which increases his hydro damage by 15%. A four piece set gives you, after using an elemental skill, increased normal attack, charged attack damage by 30% for 15 seconds. That makes a lot of sense. Ooh, okay. Oh, we got some child fans here. I love child. I love his character. I appreciate a ginger boy. All right. So we have, wait a second, wait a second. But why does he have one at nine? Aren't they usually all at three? I think they're throwing all the rules out. Like, you know, we're gonna give another five star to Zhang Li. We'll, we'll increase child's attack just by one extra, you know, make it a little bougie. All right, so we have his normal attack which is standard, but charged attack with bow users gets a little iffy. So perform a more precise aim shot with increased damage while aiming, the power of Hydro will accumulate on the arrowhead and the arrows full, an arrow fully charged with the torrent will deal Hydro damage and apply the Riptide status effect. Ooh, what is this? Opponents affected by the Riptide will suffer from AOE Hydro damage. Ooh, AOE, I love that. AOE makes me happy. <laughs> when attacked by Tartaglia in various ways, Damage dealt this way is considered normal attack damage. Riptide Flash, a fully charged aim shot that hits an opponent affected by Riptide, deals consecutive bouts of AoE damage, can occur once every 0.7 seconds. Riptide Burst, defeating an opponent affected by Riptide, creates a Hydro Burst that inflicts the Riptide status on nearby opponents that it hits. And of course, plunge attack is plunge attack. <laughs> okay. 
So here we go. Foul Legacy, Raging Tide. I'm assuming this is when he switches weapons to his like daggers, like stabby stabby. All right. So unleash a set of weaponry made of pure water, dealing hydro damage to surrounding opponents entering a metal, no, a melee stance. Why did I say metal? <laughs> In this stance, Tartaglia's normal and charged attacks are converted to Hydro damage that cannot be overridden by other elemental infusions and change as the follows. Ooh, so Bennett can't override it with his like... Well, no, I think he only affects sword users. Am I right? I think so. Normal attack, perform up to six consecutive Hydro strikes. Charged attack consumes a certain amount of stamina to unleash a cross slash dealing Hydro damage. Riptide Slash, hitting an opponent affected by Riptide with a melee attack, unleashes a Riptide Slash that deals AoE Hydro damage. There's that word again. Deal damage dealt this way is considered elemental skill damage and can only occur once every one and a half seconds. After 30 seconds or when the ability is unleashed again, the skill will end. Tartaglia will then return to his ranged stance and this ability will enter a cooldown. The longer Tartaglia stays in his melee stance, the longer the cooldown. Ew, I don't like that. I like set cooldowns. If the return to range stance occurs automatically after 30 seconds, the cooldown is even longer. Ew, okay, I have a question. How does this work with a sacrificial bow? That's what I wanna know. I wanna know how this works with a sacrificial bow. Okay. His ulti, Havoc, Obliteration, performs different attacks based on what stance Tartaglia is in when casting. Oh, so if he's got his daggers or his bow, it's gonna be different. Range stance, Flash of Havoc, swiftly fires a hydro-imbued magic arrow, dealing AoE hydro damage and applying the Riptide status, returns a portion of its energy cost after use. So you get a rebate if you're in range. Melee Stance, Light of Obliteration, performs a slash with a large AoE dealing massive Hydro damage to all surrounding opponents, which triggers a Riptide Blast. Oh, it doesn't work. Sad Panda. <laughs> I really thought Sacrificial would be a way around that. But then again, that's my answer to everything. Throw Sacrificial on it. Riptide Blast. When the obliteration, obliterating waters hits an opponent affected by Riptide, it clears the Riptide status effect and triggers a Hydro Explosion that deals AoE Hydro damage. Damage dealt this way is considered an Elemental Burst damage. Okay, that is nice. Okay, extends Riptide duration by 8 seconds by default. When Tartaglia is in Foul Legacy, Rage Tide's melee stance, on dealing a critical hit, normal and charged attacks apply the Riptide status effect to opponents. Ooh, so you probably want to focus his crit rate and crit damage. All right, and here we've got Master of Weaponry. Increase your own party member's normal attack level by one. Okay, so that's why he's got this thing up here. That is handy. So, so does that mean everybody has that? It does. Everybody got some love. Look at him. He's so generous. That just fits his character, you know? Always giving out money and all that shenanigans. All right, let's see how he runs. All right, we're gonna start. See how long it takes to charge his charged attack. Oh, that didn't take long at all. It's nothing compared to like Tainari. All right, we're gonna go. Okay, trying to figure out his skill here. All right, we're gonna go boop. All right, now we're melee. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Ooh, I'm liking this. Okay, I like his melee. Melee feels very fluid. Okay, I think we are... Oh, no, he's still melee. Does he stay in melee as long as I want him to? All right, let's go ahead and try some charged attacks. Ooh. All right. Let's see how we do on the shield. Yeah, he's taking some chunks. 
Alright. I do think... See light attacks. Don't seem to do as much, but still. Let's go for... Yeah. That ulti did a lot of damage. Alright. See if we can get this guy to sit down. Oop. Right in the eyeball. And... Okay. Let's do ulti while he's daggers. Brace yourself. This Boom. Is gonna hurt. Oh, that was no that was satisfying. All right, we're gonna switch over to bow again. I love the utility of being able to go ranged or melee. That is nice. That was a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun. I didn't even touch any of the other characters. I didn't need to. He had options, and I love options. Okay, now it's time to check out Feminet. I haven't seen any of his gameplay yet, other than, you know, what we saw during the live stream. So I'm excited to kind of see what kind of a vibe they gave him. Is he gonna be fluid like Daluk and uh, Eula, or is he gonna be more, you know, uh, Ito. <laughs> Ooh, he's a Deluxe Shatter build? Oh no, I I hit the wrong button again. I promise guys, I know how to hit buttons. A Deluxe Shatter build, ooh. Yes, the challenge ended. I did not fail the challenge because it was accidental. Yeah, it's like I play on the Switch and on the PlayStation, and then I come over here and I have an Xbox controller. <laughs> so it's like, I'm always getting my buttons mixed up. It's just part of life. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's claim our freebies, and then we are off to... Oh, so cute! I love how cute Femidette is. Okay. First off, we have to appreciate the adorableness. Look at their hair. I think I had that haircut in high school at one point. Love it. I'm gonna be trying to pull, well, I want to pull for him, but at the same time, I don't want to get Jean-Li or Tartaglia because I'm wanting to wait for Rothsley, and I don't know if he's gonna be in that banner and it's making me sad. Okay, so he's Cryo. Oh, I thought he was in the bell before. Uh-oh. Okay, we've got the Royal Greatsword. Upon damaging an opponent, increases the crit rate by 8%. Ooh. Max five stacks. A crit hit removes all stacks. That is awesome. All right, we have a full set of Blizzard Strayer. This is looking promising. All right, let's see. We've got Constellation... Ooh, Constellation 1, crit rate of pressurized foe shattering pressure will increase by 15%. That is nice. I'm hoping I get at least a C1. All right, let's go through their talents real quick. All right, perform four consecutive strikes, normal attacks a normal attack. Charged attack seems pretty standard, and plunging attack is pretty standard. All right, here, let's get into the meat and potatoes. All right, so for the skill, we have Pressurized Flow. Perform an upward thrust that deals cryo damage, causing Feminette to enter Purr's timer for 10 seconds. While in Purr's timer, his elemental skill will turn into a Shattering Pressure. Shattering Pressure executes different sorts of attacks based on pressure level of Purr's timer, then cancels Purr's timer. Level zero increases vertical cut de dealing cryo damage. Level one to three increases a vertical cut alongside side purrs dealing cryo damage and physical damage. Ooh, that's nice. That's giving me some Eula vibes. Uh, damage dealt scales based on pressure level. Level four borrows the power of fully pressurized purrs to deal physical damage. Meanwhile, normal attack. Flow eddies will be replaced by shattering pressure. Ooh. 
the purse timer, when Feminet uses normal attacks, he will also unleash waves of frost dealing cryo damage, increasing the purse pressure level. The accompanying cryo damage dealt this way considered elemental skill damage. Okay. And then he's got Arca Numa. A cer at certain intervals after using the upward thrust, a spirit breath thorn in the form of another upward thrust will be created, dealing Numa aligned cryo damage. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Congrats. Shadow Hunter's Ambush, which is his ulti, unleashes a wave of untouchable cold, dealing AoE cryo damage, resetting the cooldown of the elemental skill pressurized flow, and causing Feminette to enter a subnautical hunter mode for 10 seconds. While in subnautical hunter mode, Feminette's resistance to interruption will increase, and his elemental skill pressurized flow will obtain the following buffs. Cooldown is decreased by 70%. That is epic. Normal attacks will be increased, will increase the purse timer by one additional pressure level, and the frost released by his normal attack will deal 200% of their original damage. This effect will be canceled when Feminette leaves the field. So, gotta stay on the board, just like Eula, just like Klee. Cannot switch characters while his ulti is going. All right. Saturation Deep Dive. When Feminine unleashes his pressurized flow, shattering pressure, if Purr's timer has yet to reach pressure level 4, the cooldown of pressurized flow will be decreased by one second. All right, and then we got Parallel Condensers. When Feminine triggers shatter against opponents, the damage dealt by pressurized flow, shattering pressure, will be increased by 40% for 5 seconds. That's a long time in a fight. And last but not least, deep water navigation. Decreased aquata, aquatic stamina consumption for your own party members by 35%. Not stackable with passive talents that provide the exact same effect. Ooh, I wonder if we're going to have another character that has that, that passive talent. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Okay, so I, I meant to look at one more thing. Okay. So not an HP build like I thought. I am here for it. Okay. Looks like he's gonna be DPS. Ooh. Okay, that was awesome. Ouch! Oh, I love the little penguin. Frost is coming. We gotta get some Barbara out here. Let's get some freeze going. Okay, we've almost got... We've got the ulti ready. Okay, we're gonna go for the ulti. Oh, he put his little helmet on! That is too cute. My introverted heart says I need him back. I wish I had a helmet. Or a plushie of that adorable little penguin. Wow, his ulti's already ready again? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to pull for him. Let's see what his heavy attack looks like real quick. Oh, he does the dizzy. I love the dizzy heavy attack. Okay, yeah, he is awesome. Oh, I love him. I'm so excited about Feminette. That was awesome. Ooh, which weapon are you putting him in? Okay, and if nobody has seen Sayu run before, I am going to do a quick, quick Sayu. Ooh, yes, the spine. The serpent spine. It's an amazing utility weapon. Okay, so Sayu is a healer, but she also does a lot of swirl. 
she's a lot of fun for exploration. I don't really see her a lot on like your top tier teams or what have you, but first off, she is adorable. She is one of the cutest little characters in the game. Her voice lines are awesome. Uh, and she is kind of a healer <laughs> when she wants to be. She's like a reluctant healer. So we have her in the Favonius greatsword. She's one of my favorite healers too. She's so cute. I like her and Yao Yao. They're so awesome. All right, we've got her in Viridescent. Now, if I remember correctly, yes, she's not really an HP build healer. I think her heals are based off of her attack, if I'm remembering right. Oh, she's, yeah, she's a sweet character. Heck yeah, that's right, C6, that Sayu. Okay, so we have her in Viridescent Veneer, which means her Animo damage bonus is increased by 15%. She also has increased scroll damage by 60%, which decreases the opponent's elemental resistance to the element that is infused with the swirl by 40% for 10 seconds. Okay, we're gonna swing over here and look at some of her stuff. Her attacks are pretty standard, so we're not really gonna go over that, but we are gonna go over her Fuin Dash, the Yuhu art. <laughs> It's a special technique technique of the Yuhu Ninja Arts. Sayu curls up into a ball and kind of rolls around like a little armadillo situation. It's supposed to be a tanuki, uh, but I don't know if tanuki roll around like that. Uh, but she rolls around, she smashes into opponents, dealing animo damage and picking up any elements that she comes into contact with, which is awesome. Uh, if you do a press, She'll roll forward a short distance before, you know, just attacking. She kind of like just explodes into a little animo damage. But if you hold it, she can pretty much roll continuously, picking up any elements that you come by along the way, which is really handy. If Sayu comes into contact with Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro, while she's in her wind wheel state, she will deal additional elemental damage of that type. Elemental absorption may only occur once per state. So it's a lot of fun. All right, then she also has her little friend. Um, the other super special technique of the Yuhu Ninja Arts, it summons a pair of helping hands for Sayu. Deals animo damage to nearby opponents and heals all nearby party members. The amount of HP restored is based on Sayu's attack. Kind of like Chi Chi. This skill then summons a Muji Muji Daruma 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 Daruma. Now, it's it's a little adorable Tanuki totem that at specific intervals will take on one of the several actions based on the situation around it. If the HP is of the nearby character is above seventy percent, it will deal animo damage. If it is if nearby allies are below 70%, it will heal them instead. So it will heal the character with the lowest percentage of HP left. If there are no opponents nearby, it will heal all active characters nearby if they have 70% or less, kind of like Bennett. Um, so then we also have someone more capable. When Sayu triggers a swirl reaction while active, she heals all of your party or all of your characters and nearby allies for 300 HP. She will also heal an additional 1.2 HP for every point of elemental mastery that she has. This effect can be triggered once every two seconds. So you do want to focus elemental mastery with her. No work today. The, <laughs> the little Tanuki that she creates with the Yuhu art um, gains the following effects. When healing a character, it will also heal the character near that healed character for 20% of the amount of HP, and it increases the AoE of its attack against opponents. Now, this is handy. If you are somebody who is always behind on crystal fly farming, or you're just really trying to get your crabs up there, uh, she's great because she can sneak past and through the wildlife without spooking them. Now, if you come up to a group of things, like say, for instance, like there's three crystal flies at Dawn Winery, you grab one, the others get wise and they take off, but you can get in position 
to grab all three as long as you have Sayu on the party. She doesn't have to be your active character, she just has to be on the par party, which is awesome. I think Yao Yao also has this ability. Okay, so let's goof off with Sayu. Sayu doesn't need any big help. They gave her the usual, Zhangling and Kaya. We're gonna go ahead and throw Zhangling. We're gonna throw some Kaya love out there, and then we're going to roll around by holding her skill. She picked up Pyro, so we're gonna go hit everybody with some Pyro love. And then you can see, she can roll around for a hot minute. Boom. All right, we're gonna summon our little totem guy. We're gonna grab Kaya's ulti and Zhangling's ulti. And we're going to do Sayu's skill again. So now we are just destruction. We are the damage. Look at that. Look at that. So much fun. Boom. Now ulti, she'll summon the little Tanuki doll. And everybody's ultis are already recharged because her energy recharge ability is epic. So now we're just gonna swirl and run everybody over. And boom, done. Sayu is a boss. She is so underrated. <laughs> okay, so there is a showcase of all of the characters that are kind of a big deal right now. And I hope you guys have fun pulling. I hope everybody wins their 50-50s. And if you get a Chi-Chi, send her to me, cause my poor Chi-Chi, she needs some constellation. Oh my gosh, I am so torn. I don't even know if I have... Oh no, I do have... I do have... Uh, Primo Gems. Crap. I was gonna say, I don't have the Primo Gems to pull for anybody. You know, to try and talk myself out of pulling. But... Let me see how close I am. Because if I'm too close to Pity, I won't pull. But I really want to. Just on the off chance I get Feminette. Oh, I'm nowhere near. I'm only on page three. I'm safe. I'm pulling. All right, I'm going to do at least a 10 pull. So wish me luck, guys. We want Feminette. Come on, please. That's the only little purple I want. Just one. I'm fine with one. Come on. Come on. Oh, Rain Slasher. It's okay. I still probably need it anyway. They gave me that Nari love and they're like, you gotta cool it. You gotta cool it for a hot minute. Okay, and I'll do those two singles because I can. And one more. Nope, it was not meant to be. Oh well. Oh, why do I still have a notification? <laughs> oh, what is it, Tomcat? Did you get Feminette when you did your pulls? Oh, it was because of the epitomized path. I don't pull for the Show weapons the anymore. I've been burned too many times. Anyone seems oh. to be writing about these days. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't Goodness get the minute. What they find so <laughs> He's I'm awesome though. Him. Okay. Back to the task at hand. We have a mezzanine that needs our help. Exactly, you got child. You got the five star. Now, did you pre-farm for child, or are you madly scrambling from world to world to try to get your child put together? Ooh, right now, noise, right here. A bit of help to swallow. Bad puppy seems like an emergency. No. Yes, into the wind. Pre-farming is the way to go, as long as you're guaranteed. I have pre-farmed before and didn't get the character I wanted. It was disheartening. Come to think of it, I still haven't got that character. Oh, 
Mind the damage. Come on, some Miko love right out now. here. Right here. Oh no, not fish bird. Mind the side effects. Gotta say, that's one of the hardest bosses to fight by yourself. Show them right now. Nothing lasts forever. Right here. Ooh, that was a pretty chest. I will take it. Okay, I'll take it. The primo gems are what's important. <laughs> I'm sorry you mathed wrong. That sucks. Oh, 800 meters? Now nah, we're teleporting. It's like, I'll just run to the next one. No, I won't. Oh, really? Layla Ganyu? Double freeze? That is awesome. Want a taste of my hammer? Nope, I don't. I'm running away from my problems. Like, toodaloo! <laughs> bye bye <laughs> Oh, more bad doggies. Emerge right now. I bet this is gonna tie in with Mimir's a bitter pill to swallow. Taking the turn for the better. Oh, I'm stuck. <sighs> I can't see. Oh, because Baizu decided Mind to the climb the poles. One this is not that kind of game, Baizu. The wind knows me. As one with wind and cloud. Into the wind. And... Oh. A bitter pill to swallow. Where'd he go? Be still. Too bad I'm over here, like... Right now. Spraying the bad puppy in the face because he's not listening. Go away. Okay. Is it just me? Or are there any characters that actually take the drops from the flying wolfies? Have I just not leveled those characters? <laughs> yes. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Discovered an ancient ruin. Ah, no, not Otto. Convincing everyone whatever was in there is going to be worth our while was tough going. But the next part's going to be a walk in the park in contrast. There's no need to keep a low profile here. Didn't find aught else but this arcane formation and the peculiar barrier around it. And after all, that effort too. There seems to be someone trapped inside the barrier. I can't tell if they're alive or not. Well, I'm going to be going back empty-handed. Not after... No, I'm not going back empty-handed. Not after how far I've come. That's just not my style. The remaining, remaining pages are filled with black stains, that making the text unreadable. Okay. Does that mean we found both books? Puppy drops her weapons? I don't think so. Let's take a peek at them real quick. Because I, I think they're character level up or weapon level up materials. I think they could don't go either way. Where are they at? Is it these things here? Yes. Rift wolves. Maybe they are just for weapons. I thought all of these could be characters or weapons. Or talents even. But... I can't think of any character that actually takes these. I usually feed them to my Terra metric transformer. <laughs> I might regret that later. That's the last mob I want to farm. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where are we going? Yep, back to the mezzanine village. What? We got one of those thingies underneath? There we go. That's the teleport we want. No, I want you. Ah, uh, I missed them entirely. Oh well. <laughs> Should have had Taiyu on my team. <laughs> oh, how pretty. Okay, let's go talk to the adorable mezzanine that is also on to Paimon. I 
think? No, we've got to dive. We're going down. It was a trick. Let's see. Further down and there's a tunnel, right? Nope. Okay, now it's a... Oh, right. There we go. Sometimes it's easy to get turned around underwater. No characters and six weapons take them. Okay, so good for weapons. I'll probably stop feeding them to the Terra Metric Transformer then. Okay, let's see what Kanatila Kanatila has to say. These do look like the missing pages from the book. Let's try one back in, shall we? Let's try putting one back in, shall we? All right, let's put the page in the book. And then we just need to concentrate and meditate on the book, like before. The edges of the page gradually blur. Ooh. This is a lot. Okay. Read countless volumes here. It appears that these books were left behind by an ancient order. Kingdoms rise and fall, and then a civilization is annihilated. A new one will be born after from the ashes, which these books refer to as Fortuna. It's somewhat rudimentary, but theoretically at least, it bears a striking, striking resemblance to the compilation scheme that I have formulated in the term in termed world formula. All these records are blurred with age, but were I able to quantify them to some extent, they could be of use to my world formula calculations. No matter. No matter how many times I derive it, the result remains the same. Although this result is not expected, unlike the world depicted in these ancient texts, there will be no more new civilizations born unless we consider introducing variables from the from outside of the system. If it was that sort of power, there might be a chance. All right, so we have this diagram here, which will probably be handy for a puzzle here in a bit. Here I found the magical techniques left behind by the Golden Troop. Ooh, that's the new artifact set, right? They seem to be referred to by various names. I'll go with this one for now. Based on my interpretation, it seems to be known as the seal of chymical marriage and consists of two parts. However, it has been weathered too much to decipher any more information. Interestingly, I have encountered similar symbols in documents from Narzen Kruts from the Narsenkruz Institute archives. Isn't that where we went with Anne? The little ocean idea, or the oceanid? The little fish bird? I think so. They look complicated, yet the underlying principles are quite clear. If the record proves accurate, there are some key locations within the realm remaining. Related to records Maybe no related records may be found elsewhere as well. I should record my findings here for now as they may prove useful in the future. Okay. So these seems like the notes of a researcher. Wow, this time even Paimon could start to understand. Seems like the confusion was all due to the pages that were missing before, huh? Awesome. Let's put another page in now, shall we? Let's insert another page. And meditate. <laughs> As you start to meditate again, you once more attempt to understand the page's contents. The edges of the page blur, and the incomprehensible shapes that lined leap no, that line it leap forth as if mounted on a pop-up book. Yet, before you can make sense of what's happening, there's a rush of noise all around you, and you return to the world as it was. Oh. Oh, okay. The pollution of the land and water, wrought by the giant beast Elenus, seems to have mostly purif 
been mostly purified and diluted. However, when it comes to Elenis itself, even the adults seem at a total loss. They simply cordon cordoned off the area. Nevertheless, it was quite easy to sneak in. It felt rather strange slipping into the creature's mouth, and it reminded me of events from some of the stories I once read. Although I have no substantive, substantive evidence, I still sense that there's some sort of will from it. Jacob did too. Oh, not this guy again. There were no signs of decay of the flesh. Instead, its body was hardening and forming a protective membrane. Given its current immobilized state, it looked like self-defense mechanism to safeguard the internal organs. But it does make sense with such a wellspring of vitality, if my deduction is correct, it may also be used to enhance Jacob's strength by following the same principle. However, at this stage, there is no need to subject Jacob to such risks. I should get a safe experimental no I should get safe experimental data first through the Institute of Natural Philosophy and then set specific research objectives although as Jacob mentioned this may be a waste this may waste a lot of precious time after all the flesh of Elenus remains toxic and the risk of Jacob if Jacob has returned he's quite brave but also an idiot. He didn't give any thought for the possible consequences. We have no one else to rely on now. If he... The data we've collected is incomplete. Jacob had a minor adverse reaction, primarily vomiting, but he's recovered quickly and hasn't shown any other symptoms in short term. His mental status and physical status remain stable. It's only possible because Jacob completely trusts me. Our lives are limited. Still, even if it is just for the future, we must find a way to get allies, get stronger, and prevent the disaster. Elaine has enrolled in the Institute of Natural Philosophy. He should fit right in with his sharp mind. I brought the pocket watch he gave us, and we compared the time, only to find that there was already a significant discrepancy. We agreed to meet at the Institute. The brightest minds of Fontaine are gathered there, and we can expect to make huge progress and get much needed help. As for Marianne, just the sight of her fills me with joy. We had a long discussion about the Narzenkrutz Institute, but Jacob was crying through most of it. I didn't tell them about Jacob. It's because of Uncle Gillotin, who was with them, is part of the Maison Gardenage. Although he seems to be treating Alan, and Elaine, and Marianne very well, he still can't be trusted. After all, father and mother, it was all the doing of their lackeys and goons. Okay, we're, we're getting a lot of parallels through these world quests, because we've met Marianne in a book with Anne. So, and I think we read something about Gillotin before. I, I, I'm seeing guillotine i'm wanting to say guillotine but i i know there's not an e there okay well paimon can read the words now but the author's intended meaning is still a total mystery we'll just have to put the last page in and see what we get maybe the contents will link up or something last page the tests on jacob's strength continue as before the flesh and blood of the great beast Elenus has been used as nutrition. Jacob seems to have gotten used to it, so there's nothing to worry about anymore. Thus, the adverse reactions observed before may just have been caused by Jacob's feelings of disgust. It's a relief to know that his physical condition hasn't been harmed. Jacob still eats, but only out of habit and no longer, and no longer as a necessity for survival. But I suppose it's a good thing, because eating altogether is nice. It sh suddenly occurred to me that jam was somewhat similar to the flesh and blood of Elenus, so I made a joke about it. Jacob seemed quite uncomfortable. The results have improved significantly in comparison to previous tests. Perhaps more can be done. Then the next step would be to attempt the opening of a passage. The passage was opened successfully. 
although it only lasted for a short while. During this time, many black monsters that were shaped like dogs emerged. I bet those are the wolves. They were very aggressive and terrifying, but thank goodness Jacob was there. Although he was so scared he was crying, he still managed to wipe them out while bawling. These monsters are identical to those we discovered during our desert expedition. However, those were salty, gray, stiff, and immobile at the time. So it's relatively safe. They must have been in the area of the Pari. I'm certain their properties are nearly identical to those of Elenus. The Conria records mention a passage appearing in large, no, passages appearing in large numbers and numerous dangerous monsters that look like dogs emerging from them. It's very likely that these are the same type. It can be safely postulated that the location of these passages linked to, linked to is full of these monsters. I shall tentatively call them beastly rifts. Thus, these hounds may be called rift hounds. Oh, so these are the ones who coined the name rift hounds. But it's concerning that this is all linking back to Conria. As you read faster and faster, you fall into a trance and arrive in a mysterious space. The same voice from before rings out. No matter how many times you run, I run the calculations, the results are the same. After a few hundred years, all the birthing waters of the world will dry up. A few hundred years after that, the world will become as it appears now before us. This is quite the predicament. Hey, come on now, don't cry. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm here, aren't I? Don't you trust me? Also, Elaine and the others will definitely help. Also, I bet you, you'll definitely be able to survive in this world. You're special. I know. I know, you're worried. That constitutes... That constitution of others is different from yours. That's, that's reasonable. Well, that's why we need to continue researching the things left behind by the Golden Troop. Perhaps we'll discover some new possibilities. We'll go, we'll go back to the Narzenkritz Institute together and take a look, okay? The voice drips away. After what feels like a long time, though in this world, time seems no longer measured in changes in matter, you hear the voice once more. It looks like he won't help us anymore. You're the only one I can rely on now. Hey, come on. Don't be like that. I'm sad too, but I won't cry until after the fat lady sings. Moreover, we still have to find a way to cure him. Don't be scared. It'll go smoothly. There are already lots of people willing to listen to us. If we want to persuade them further, besides belief, we'll need ceremony. As for the name, we'll call it the Book of Revealing and put it in the form of a book. We'll, we'll use our secret cipher to write it. Everyone will only see the world that their cognitive framework allows them to see. But using this method, we can share the visions we've foreseen with others. Just as you begin to listen closely to what the voice is saying, it begins to gradually fade away. At the same time, you feel the world around you suddenly begin to collapse. With a roaring sound resounding, you awake again. Are you okay, Traveler? Was there an earthquake just now? Earthquake? What earthquake? Nothing happened here. Paimon did get a little dizzy, but you looked like you'd faint. You didn't wind up with some mysterious space again, did you? Just what's going on in this weird space anyhow? If you think about it, it's pretty dangerous too. What if you can't get back out? So just what did you encounter inside? I seem to have witnessed a premonition that someone had. Huh? The pages we found before did mention something about deductions and calculations too. Could it be that the things revealed inside the space were actually the result of such de deductions? Hmm, if what you say is true, then this was actually a book of prophecies, wasn't it? But why make the format so complicated? If the author didn't want people to understand it, wouldn't it have been better to not write it at all? Actually, I heard that all kinds of sound I heard all kinds of sounds while I was meditating, but they were just of the songs of birds and flowers. 
I don't know anything about the prophecy you spoke of. It seems that we must enter the space again to understand what's going on. If we meditate together this time, we should be able to enter it. I don't know if I want to. Paimon's still worried. Wait. Paimon wants to come too. Not that she's gonna... She, no way is she gonna stay here alone. Once again, you focus upon meditating. And the fervor surrounding you fades. The world grows silent. And then you hear the tiniest of sounds. And a feeling that is wrath, or perhaps grief, wells up within your heart. Your very soul feels drawn into this mysterious sound. And as you follow that sound, the whole world, utterly alien, supremely familiar, races to meet you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Things getting crazy. Oh, that's not so unfamiliar. What? Where the heck did we end up? This is like some kind of a dreamscape. It must be the strange place you were talking about before. It's much more vivid than before. Did the author of the book really create this place? And they hid such a big space inside of it too. Huh. Well, Paimon doesn't know what they, how they did it, but this place looks like a ruin. Also, we meditated with Kenal... Kanata, can, canatilla, canatilla, to get here, but we're the only two people around right now. She didn't fall somewhere else, did she? Oh no, bad things could happen if she winds up in danger. Let's go find her, hurry. Okay, L this looks a lot like what we came across in the chasm, that's what I'm thinking of. Getting chasm vibes. Oh, there's our little mezzanine buddy. Paimon sees her. She's over there. Does she not hear us? Oh, she's gone. Okay. We love free money. Even if it's because we're in a crazy dreamscape. All right. Oh, that's trippy. I, I totally thought we were gonna get mobs. Instead, we teleported. That's awesome. I love it. Okay. Oh, she's gone again. Uh, that way? Okay. We have some hilly churls. Right here, right here. Here to rain on your brain. One with nature. Oh. Imaginary drops? I mean, imaginary, imaginary mobs? Real drops. Always here for it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Where's it gonna take us? Wait, I want the time trial. Here we go. I want the time trial. I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back here. Okay. Hydro particles? We can do that. Oh yeah, we can do that, especially if it's going to do it for us. No complaints. Oh! Wait, I think I heard something. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Was there another portal that opened up and I missed it? Yes, there was. Into the wind. Okay. We're gonna give that another try. Before we oh. Paimon, you're gonna kill us. Okay. You can stand up, Kazuma. There we go. We can make it over there. Ooh. 
and all right so it's gonna send us up here we have to drop down to that other portal all right and enter there and straight another portal Oof, almost missed it again oh no there is no margin for error and boom A fateful offering all the goodies okay I see where you're going but I don't see how I can follow you oh and it brought us right back to the one okay that's handy if it didn't it was gonna be a pain I'm sure we'll find another Seely at some point. Come on out. Right here. Yeah. Let's see where that's gonna take us. Hopefully somewhere good. Okay, and where will this one? Oh. Okay, I want these everywhere in the world now. <laughs> that is handy. Come on, take me back to the chest. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that was awesome. That Come was on. fun. Open it up. Show me what's inside. Okay, here we go. We've got a book. Huh? Where'd she go? She was just here a moment ago. Wait, there's something on the ground. Let's pick it up and take a look. You pick up a page from a book. See that? That's the conclusion the world formula arrived at after countless calculations. The scene we foresaw, the destruction after the cataclysm, and this world where not even a sweet flower or mint can grow. That's the end of all things. Do you believe it at last? Whether you have arrived at this place via the Book of Revealing or the Looking Glass, Lend me your strength that we may avoid this future. Just as I said, the only way is... This page is the same as the ones we found before, but how'd it end up here? Talk about a cliffhanger. Let Paimon see. It's easily readable. Is it because we're in the strange place? The cataclysm, destruction, some kind of apocalypse, what? Even if Paimon can read the words, it still doesn't make any sense. But if we put it together with the other pages, it appears to be a prophecy. Um, that's true. We've definitely seen something about calculations before. So does this mean that there's a future that the author wants us to see? A world where even sweet flowers and mints won't grow? The That's a terrible place no matter how you slice it. But if that really is the future, shouldn't the arth author tell everyone about it and find a solution? Why make a place like this? Maybe this is the only way that everybody will believe them. It also mentions some kind of a looking glass. Seems like there are other ways to get here. Still, Paimon doesn't think any of this will be much help in answering her questions. Ah, oh, forget it. Who cares about some dumb prophecy anyway? The important thing right now is to find her. Let's keep looking. Oh, random portal? Don't mind if I do. So far, they've only meant good things. Going on a trip. Flying like a rocket ship. Up there! How'd she get over there? Oh, there's a puppy! I want to pet the puppy. I want to pet the puppy. No! The puppy! Right there! Oh! It wants me to pet that puppy. Right now. Right here. I'll pet the puppy! 
here, puppy, puppy. And I petted the puppy and it needed a nap. Huh, no sign of her. Where'd she go? There's only this fellow here. That said, it doesn't seem to want to attack us anymore. That's the first for a rift town, huh? Looks like it wants to say something to us. Here, puppy, puppy, puppy. You can live in my teapot. Not that we can understand it anyway. We shouldn't get too close, just in case. Wait, is Paimon seeing things? ordinary little doggy. What's he doing here? Where'd the Rift Town go? Traveler, take a look. There's something wrong with Paimon's eyes. It might be the Rift Town. Maybe er the Rift Towns were originally just dogs. But then again, we're in a dream. So yeah, anything can happen in a dream. It's trying to tell us to go through the passageway over there? Judging from his reaction, Paimon guessed right. Who knows where that could lead, but we've got to find her. So, maybe she left that way? And it looks like there's no other route that we can take, so let's just try it and see what happens. Like I said, so far they've only meant good things. To the portal! Oh, sorry, Baizu. Can't run as Baizu. <laughs> Oh, yes, let's go into the giant portal. <laughs> that looked ominous. Uh, wait, we came right back. Or maybe we never even left? Oh, you had the same reaction I did, Paimon. We were looking everywhere for you. Paimon kept calling out for you, but you never responded. That place was so dangerous, but you just ran around all over the place. Dangerous? The place we entered was so serene and peaceful. It was like a beautiful garden. Huh? But what we saw was rubble. That's odd. I kept looking for you two back at the previous space. There were big trees and flowers everywhere. I got lost. Fortunately, I followed the sound of a bird and then found a golden butterfly, which brought me on top of the garden. What about the Rift Hound? We saw you and a Rift Hound, and that Rift Hound even turned into a dog. Ugh, now Paimon feels like she's just talking nonsense. I saw a little dog too, on top of the garden. There was a cute little dog that nodded at me and helped me find the way out. I thought both of you had gone somewhere else to play, and that I didn't need to worry, so I just came back here. And you, what did you discover? Uh, we found another page. Right, we found this inside, although we don't know if it'll be useful. It, it also looks like a page from this book. You open the page you found and show it to her. The butterfly, it was, it's the golden butterfly. Huh? What are you talking about? I can see golden butterflies flying out from the pages, just like the one I saw in space before. Uh, never mind solving anything. We've got even more problems on our hands now. It seems like you really did see something different in that space. Huh. If that space is just the future predicted by the author, then why did you see a garden? Just thinking about it makes Paimon's head hurt. But I was very happy inside. I didn't even think about those questions. Maybe that's what the book was trying to tell me all along. Even if we perceive differently, if we can communicate our feelings to one another, maybe the essence of things doesn't matter much after all. Paimon wouldn't say that. We had a great time in there, but if you figured things out for yourself, that's good for you. Still, that place was pretty sketchy, and we don't have any clues as to what was up with the prophecy either. Speaking of the prophecy, this book makes it sound really scary. Sure, but what if 
The things I saw were the real future. After all, such things aren't set in stone, are they? And since the book mentions other ways to enter the space, we might be able to figure this book out and its prophecy if we find them. And then maybe we can meet there again in the space. Oh, it might be better if we just meet in reality. Also, don't go running around in space anymore. Da 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 da! At least she found her answers. But I have so many more questions. Like, how is all of this linked to Conria? And all the other things? My brain hurts. My brain hurts! Okay. <sighs> All right, next up. I'm gonna take a quick break and run to the loo, refill my coffee and all that good jazz. I will be right back. Make sure to get your snacky snacks and we'll be back in about three minutes. Yeah. Boom. There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, I have to keep if you wish to hear it. I have to keep an eye on the deployment of guards at all times. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. This blade. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. I have to keep an eye on the deployment of guards at all times. There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. heard about another side quest that we can go ahead and do to try and increase our reputation in Fontaine. So we're going to go ahead and take that on in the Palais Min Pneumonia. Pneumonia? 
Yeah, pneumonia. That's it. <laughs> Hope everybody refilled their drinks and got their snacks. We have this poor little bean. He looks so stressed. Let's see if we can help him out. I just can't believe it. Would someone really take a camera to the Maison Gaston itself and simply strut about taking pictures of everyone and anything? It's ridiculous. Everyone knows, everyone should know, that this is how secrets get leaked. It's common sense. If common sense was common, Mr. A Ade. Ide? Unde? Sir. <laughs> then the Maison Gaston would simply disband tomorrow. I shall leave this to you. Have them sign the document, just like I taught you, and return it to me before the weekend. I still have to handle the expense receipts Carsix keeps hassling me about. But, Mr. Rodolte, just who should I be looking for? We don't even have an office specifically in charge of cameras. Oh, I trust your judgment. Hur now hurry up. And take care of this so we can each really enjoy the weekend. I'm going to take care of other things. Hop to it, kid. Yes, sir, Mr. Rotalde. He leaves in a leisurely manner. Yes, sir, Mr. Rotalde. So what you doing? Huh? Oh, hello, hello, hello. It looks, um... Though you are not a member of the staff here at the Maison Gaston, I am currently busy with official business. Should you have any inquiries, please ask Miss Cornelia. She is right over there. She will provide with a chair and a cup of tea. Please have a seat and I will come find you after I am done. What's the big rush? <sighs> it's actually a simple matter. But dealing with it is quite complicated. The office I work in has received a notice instructing us to draft a letter to the other offices. The content was something like, Staff are forbidden from bringing cameras into the Maison Gaston and taking pictures, except for work purposes, in order to avoid leakage of secret information. Does telling me about the letter's contents constitute leaking secrets? No, certainly not. If so, if anyone really had used a camera to take the photos of the documents, it could result in a leak. This would certainly have been a confidential matter. However, maybe someone will use a camera to take pictures of a document in order to leak them is not a secret. After all, that is a possibility that everyone is aware of. I feel a bit dizzy. <laughs> that's That's talking in some circles. Think about it this way. If you are guarding a secret, then the secret you are guarding certainly cannot be revealed. But the fact that you are guarding a secret itself may not be considered secret. After all, even if the fact that you are guarding a secret is considered a secret, then you will fall into an endless cycle of keeping the secret of secret keeping. Your words are an endless cycle! I'm curious as to who's in charge of this matter. No, we'll just say who's re who's responsible for this. <laughs> that is where the matter becomes complicated. There is no office in the entire Maison Gaston that is directly in charge of managing cameras. Mr. Semin says that I should ask Mr. Gatino. Their work is related to confidential matters, and thus they should be the ones first made aware. But Mr. Rotalde says that I should ask Defour, as he is in charge of all matters related to staff in the Maison Gaston. Were we to make a new rule that all staff of the Maison Gaston cannot bring their cameras to work, we will have to let them know. Wow, that's complicated. Why are there so many different people responsible for different things? What happens if you can't remember? 
That's why each of us carries a thick notebook. Although, even with the notes, I'm still not sure where I should look for now. Or who I should look for now. This is a confidential matter. Let's take it up with Gatino. Or this is a matter involving personnel. Let's look for Defor. I think we should go for confidential. Confidential. That should be the priority, I think. That's exactly what I thought. Mr. Gatino is quite affable and is also an exemplary gestionnaire. Even though all that the ma all the matters that he deals with are of the utmost importance, he still handles each with a matter of aplomb. His work can truly be called outstanding. Well, I guess you'll get to see that for yourself. Please, this way. How did we get roped into that? That's okay, we're here to help. Let's see, where are we heading? Over here? And here? Oh, oh, he's just right over here. That wasn't very far. Ah, what are the odds? Do you finally have a time for a cup of coffee with me after work? Thank you for your offer, but I have a confidential matter that requires your attention. Confidential matter? Is something I need to know about? I think that you may not have been informed yet. I only received the document this morning. Now that's odd. Perhaps my information is a step behind yours since I haven't had the chance to read the Steam Bird yet today. But it's a confidential matter! Why would you read it in the Steam Bird? <laughs> Those reporters get information and spread it much faster than our internal memos here at the Maison Gaston. Of course, it's understandable. After all, they get paid for when they deliver a message. Paimon doesn't get it at all. Let's not talk about that for now. Sir, it's like this. And he tells him the entire situation. Ha! Huh. That's right, such an announcement is absolutely necessary. This already happened. Some blithing idiot wanted to show off his desk layout and took a picture of it. He's a member of the camera club and showed that very photo to the other members of the club. But one of the members said the club just happened to be... A, no, one of the members of, the of said club just happened to be an astute reporter who quickly noticed a document that looked like an internal memo in the picture. And guess what happened next? The next day, that blasted memo complaining that only fish get served for dinner here, day in and day out, was all over the steam bird. Does that count as a secret? It doesn't sound very serious. <laughs> it's like gossip. Whatever it is, it's an eternal information. It should not have been leaked to any outside parties. The people of the Court of Fontaine never miss an opportunity to mock and deride the Maison Gaston, and we must act with caution. As if they actually give two figs about what we actually do here. All they want to do is ugh, have a laugh. Two figs. I'm going to use that later. Uh, anyway, I'll leave this for your office to take care of then. But this matter concerns new rules for personnel. Defour should be the one who signs off on this. After all, in this document, though it reminds everyone of the importance of keeping confidential information secret, the more important thing is how to communicate these principles to them. If you ask me, it must be DeFore that takes care of this. Our office will certainly assist in the matter, but this will be more efficient and confidentiality can be maintained. So he swiftly signs his name on the dotted line as co-organizer. But Mr. Ganetto, this matter... Come on, boy, you can't dwaddle about... This must be taken care of. Now go find DeFore, quickly before his patience is worn thin by other matters. Now, I'll go find some documents that talk about the principles of protecting secret information. When the document is ready to be officially released, our office will provide our full support. Go find him, kid. 
I've got to go uh, attend to other matters. I think nobody wants to work with the four. That's the vibe I'm getting. So he strides off. Wait, Mr. Ganetto, wait. He left. He positively fled. <laughs> there. Did you see Mr. Ganetto's abilities? His secret to getting everything done so well is avoiding doing anything at all that carries any modicum of risk. So, it's the ability to shirk your duties? <laughs> There's nothing we can do now except for go and find Mr. DeFore. This way, please. We're off to find DeFore. Do you have something for me? You seem to be out of breath. It's like this, Mr. DeFore. Poor guy's gonna have to tell everybody this like a million times. <laughs> so you've come to the wrong person. This document clearly has the subject of secrets. How could you fail to realize something so simple and obvious? I thought the subject was this document. Grammatically speaking, that is correct. Hey! That's not the subject right now either! Your exactness is noted and appreciated. But I will not sign this document no matter what. I will not even entertain the thought. It should be Ganetto who leads this matter. Mr. Ganetto said that you should be the one in charge. Huh! Me? And how should I do that? Grab a megaphone and stand at the door shouting at everyone as they come into work? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, don't bring your cameras to work. You'll leak all kinds of secrets. That would be bad. So don't. <laughs> or maybe print a few hundred documents and leave them on the desk of every guest in air so that they can take them with them as they go get their coffee. You think we're like Gedetto? That we can just grab leakers and teach them a lesson? All we can do is send out notices, the kind nobody even takes notice of. But he's already signed the document. Look here. Boy, do you have any clue what co-organizer means? Um, the one who follows instructions from the other party? It means, at least I'm not responsible for this. I categorically and completely refuse to sign this document. If it must be my office that is forced to take charge of this, then let Manival come down and tell me so in person. So he leaves enough. He's so loud. Paimon didn't even dare to speak. As I said, he has quite the temper. So what do we do now? Don't worry. Let's just go back and look for Mr. Rotole. This is a confidential matter, DeFore. No, sorry. This is a confidential matter. As such, it must fall under your office's jurisdiction. Well, in that case, we can keep affairs we handle confidential from you in the future, even if, even on personnel-related matters. Hey, those are two different things. Quit shifting the goalposts. Well, it certainly is not up to us to decide whether or not they're the same thing. It looks like I've messed things up again. Ugh, this is kind of scary. Traveler! How about we get out of here? Adults arguing is scary. Gentlemen, gentlemen, calm down. There's no need to be upset over such a trifling matter. This is no trifling matter, Rutile. This is a matter of grave importance that impacts the entire Maison Gaston. I dare not act rashly and decide it on my own. So it is. There is nothing trivial at all about protecting our secrets. I don't think that there is anyone in the whole Maison Gaston more suited to handling this matter than you. 
Please relax. Why must you gentlemen argue about who's in charge? As I see it, there's no need for anyone to be primarily responsible. You don't even need to coordinate. What? Huh? I fear I do not understand your meaning, Rotelet. I don't quite follow your train of thought. You two are both gentlemen of wealth and of, uh, with a wealth of experience. That know when dealing with something complicated, we must first divide it into simple things. The responsibility of preventing people from leaking secrets using cameras should logically fall to Ganetto. But you don't need to do anything extra. Just continue to catch the leakers as before. As for the information informing everyone of the policy that cameras can't be brought into the Maison Gaston, this troubled task must fall to Defour. Nobody else at the Maison Gaston can clarify the new policy with the staff. We have no capabilities of enforcing it. Nobody listens to us. <sighs> Then you don't need to worry about that. Leave enforcement to Ganetto. What you need to do is notify, is not notify, but propose. The bigger you print the proposal, the better. Put it at the entrance and be sure to print the case of the last camera leak below. That should be enough. This sounds exactly like before. I don't get it. I don't understand, Mr. Rodelet. This way... I agree with this proposal. Excellent. It's very clean and clear. What? What? Proposal? Ha, huh, that's easy. Then we have reached an accord. After he writes the draft, I'll bring it to both of you to look over. Now, let's each get back to work. Galadetto and Defour go on their way. I'm very sorry, Mr. Rodelet. I, I messed this up. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. At least not completely. Why did they suddenly accept your idea? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. That's right! Why did they suddenly stop arguing? They looked like they were about to start a brawl. That's because you don't know these two gentlemen what these true gentlemen truly care about. Do you think they simply don't want to take on the extra work? Of course not. They simply didn't want any other offices to get involved with their work, especially when they themselves would be held responsible. As long as you understand this, it's easy to remove the source of their discontent, and they are quite willing to do the work. But your proposal, they still have to do to take responsibility. Ganetto and Defour are both experienced bureaucrats. They are both painfully aware of some simple truths. In a large organization such as the Maison Gaston, everyone has to take some responsibility. That's the only way to make sure everything can continue to operate smoothly. You can negotiate the size of the responsibility, but everybody must take part. If anyone refuses to do so, well, they had best pray they never run into trouble. Don't think too much on it. You'll come to understand all of this someday. Right now, the important thing is to rewrite the proposal and bring it to me. Got it? Yes, sir, Mr. Rodelet. So he leaves once more in a hurry. Ugh, looks like another all-nighter. I guess I should grab some coffee first. Your health is important, too. I know, but forget it. No buts. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if there's any point to this work. I type, I produce documents, chat, run errands, day in and out. As an objective observer, Traveler, what are your thoughts? Further observation is required, citizen. <laughs> Fine. Perhaps. Perhaps you can give me an answer after you observe me a bit more. If you're interested, come here tomorrow. We can talk again then. As a guestonaire here at the Maison Gaston, I have been drowning in a sea of work. Perhaps you could tell me, as an objective observer, 
What is the point of it all? The purpose of work, Paimon thinks that's pretty complicated of a question. And he seems to be under a lot of pressure too. How about we check on him tomorrow? I sure hope he doesn't burn out from all this work. Okay, so now we wait. Said to wait until what time? Eight. Between Octon's Wolf. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Ish. There we go. Close enough. Sometimes I wonder what it looks like to the NPCs when people just stand in one place. I wonder if they're ever like, are they okay? Are you good? Traveler. <laughs> Traveler, I'm glad to see you've come back for another visit. Uh, coffee? Uh, why are none of you surprised to see me here? No, why were none of you surprised to see me here before? <laughs> yeah, Paimon wanted to ask that too. But those guys were so loud, Paimon didn't dare talk about anything else. And I thought I was going to get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> why? No need to worry. The guards let you in, so why would we take it upon ourselves to chase you out? This is also an example of a clear delegation of authority and responsibility. Hello, Traveler. I am Samin. It is a pleasure to meet you. And hello. And you are? Samin used to work with the courts as an assistant secretary. Due to some rather messy circumstances, he was transferred back to the Maison Gaston. Using his logical and precise deductions, we were able to find solutions to many previously intraceable problems. Please, it's a bit much. I merely transferred over my previous work experience and use the value of certain things to infer the importance of matters related to them. Though in practice, countless matters that cannot be precisely measured will crop up in the course of work, but these cases apply to Rodelais' well-developed axioms of human interaction. It's of great assistance. So that means what now? I mean... I'd like to think I'm a pretty smart Pop-Tart, but a lot got lost there for me, and I was reading it and saying it. To put it simply, when dealing with work, Samin's quite skilled at considering all sides and their state. It makes everyone feel like they're important. It's like balancing the scales. And if balancing act is simply if the balancing act is act is simply impossible, then I can tip the scales with the weight of words. Oh, so can you help him? Yeah, Paimon see yeah, it seems like he's about to pass out. This is the path that all must take sooner or later. Should I help him write the document, he will not remember this lesson. His head and heart are filled with idealistic fantasies about what working at the Maison Gaston is. But fantasies are for the young, not Gestonaires. And I simply don't know how to write these documents. You are quite direct. All right, so what's the business that brings you here? Tell me and I'll see if I can. Oh, he suddenly runs over in a panic. Our poor little bean. Alas, all is doomed and ruin. Mr. Rodelai, do, do you have spare keycaps for the typewriter? As I was typing, I suddenly discovered that a keycap was missing, and I have no idea when it could have... Did you already have a look nearby? Maybe it just fell off and went onto the ground. Or maybe it's stuck in a book or a sandwich between some documents. Did you already check these possibilities? Or maybe it's in a pin holder or on your sleeve. Or in your hair or in a teacup. I've looked everywhere, even my pockets and my shoe bottoms. I've searched all over, it's nowhere to be found. 
Very well, then. You should go ask Cornelia. Uh, Cornelia. If we do have any spares for anything like keycaps, then she's the one who will need to file a request. I should just go buy them myself. I, I shouldn't take Estelle- It shouldn't take Estelle long at the- at all to make keycaps. My dear, do you really want to spend your own money? The typewriter and its keycaps are public property, and the property of Maison Gaston. Filling out an application with Cornelia is proper procedure. It, it really doesn't cost that much at all. No, this is not a matter of how much. It's a matter of authority and responsibility. Repairing the public property of the Maison Gaston should be paid for by the public accounts of the Maison Gaston. If you pay for this with your private funds and do not file a claim for reimbursement, then when expenses are audited at the end of the year, it will be unclear where the money came from. Fine, fine, I'll go to Cornelia right now. Even buying something is such a pain. Is it e is even paying for things this annoying? This is actually quite normal around here. Please, this way, let's go find Cornelia. Hello, may I help you? Ah, uh, and hello to you too, Miss Cornelia. Do we have any spare keycaps for the typewriter? Excuse me? My typewriter is missing a keycap, so I would like to apply for a replacement. If there isn't one in stock, it would also work if you could reimburse a purchase for a new one. Expensing a keycap? That shouldn't be a problem, in principle. Sign your name here. Just write requesting reimbursement for replacement keycap due to a typewriter malfunction, and then sign the name in office. Very well. Can I get the keycap today, right? I really need to get back to work. Um, have you ever applied for reimbursement for a purchase of public property before? Being reimbursed for work expenses is not like at all like you imagine. You don't simply buy something and reimburse it. We need to compile all the reimbursement receipts and documents on a monthly basis, creating summary reports and then submitting everything to the Maison Cardinalis for approval at the end of the month. This approval process is related to the approval and payments of salaries for the entire Maison Gaston. If the amount of expense is too late, then the Maison Cardinalis will ev even need to submit it to Monsieur Nouvellet himself for approval. Payments can only be officially sent after the review is complete and everything is signed. If he has any questions about certain expense reports, the staff member in question must submit a written report. We are just preparing to submit our first batch of reports, which we shall do sometime in the next few days. You mean if I am unfortunate enough that I might require Monsieur Nouvellet himself to sign off on the keycap reimbursement. Such are the rules, and since the total expense for this month are large indeed, he may very well require an audit of the reports. Monsieur Nouvellet? Wait, isn't that your chief justice? But it's just a keycap. We were, and we're making him sign for it. This just doesn't feel right. Isn't there some other way for him to get a replacement keycap? <laughs> I think so too. After all, it's only a keycap, and we don't want to trouble him with it. That is true. There are other ways. Yes, we could go buy the keycap yourself, and then I can provide you with official acknowledgement of debt in the public accounts. After all, the reimbursements have been processed, and the payment process is complete, then the amount owed will be paid to you directly from the public purse. Excellent. Then let's do that. After all, a keycap doesn't cost much, and I can pay for it. Then please, sign here if you will, if you should write requesting reimbursement for the replacement keycap due to typewriter malfunction. Are you going to purchase a replacement from Miss Estelle? Indeed, yes. Is anything wrong? Then I will take the IOU to Mr. Rodelet for him to sign, and then I will take then take it to Miss Estelle to verify the purchase amount. 
But you don't need to worry about that. Just hurry and buy your keycap. I'll take care of the rest. Thank you so much. You really are the best, Cornelia. I'll go and buy it right now. Come on, Traveler. It's time to leave. Da, da, da. Let's time go buy go. some keycaps <laughs> from Estelle. This poor guy. He's so covered in bureaucratic BS that he can't breathe without getting an approval. Time to go. Let's go buy a keycap from the blacksmith because that's logically where keycaps come from. Right? Maybe? Well, I guess they're metal for like a typewriter. So it does kind of make sense. Yeah. We need like an artificer or something in Genshin that would really make this all go together a little better. Oh! What is it? You seem to be out of breath. Estelle, please. I need a keycap for my typewriter. You should have something here, right? Of course. But typewriters have so many different keys. Take a look and see which one you need the keycap for. So he starts rummaging around, searching for keycaps. This one. This one here. Here's the money. Thank you, Estelle. Last time you said that you'd like to go boating with me. Hey! Wait! <laughs> Poor Estelle. He's a whirlwind. She didn't have time to do anything. She's like, hey, what about our date? <laughs> oh, that would be a cute couple. She's so easygoing. She'd mellow him out a little bit. That's my thoughts. Let's repair a keyboard. Not a keyboard, a typewriter. <laughs> Great. Now I can finally continue working. This proposal must be finished today. Thank you so much. When I have time, I will certainly treat you to an excellent meal. Are you free tomorrow? Come find me here when you've got the time. Wait for me to finish my work and we can all go get a tasty meal. I will be waiting, but finish your work first. You're right, I must work faster. Wait. What's the next sentence? I should have written everything down. Oh no. Poor guy, he can't catch a break. Okay. Once again, eight o'clock. Let's do it. And boom, close it up. Oh no, he still looks depressed. Uh... Inad? Are you done writing? Inad? Oh, what? Yes, it's, I finished. I finished writing. It, it's it's me. Did, did you finish writing it? Oh, oh, it's you. I, I must have fallen asleep, sorry. Mr. Rodelet and Mr. Samin stayed with me half the night. With their guidance, I finally managed to finish the proposal. But I was just too tired. I thought I'd just close my eyes for a bit. I never thought I'd sleep until now. I need to go find Mr. Thales first. I have to have him stamp this proposal with the official seal of the Maison Gaston, and then take the proposal to Mr. DeFore for his stamp, and then we'll begin official printing it, officially printing it, and then we'll be done with all this. Sounds simple enough. Yeah, in any case, I've heard that Mr. Thales is, has introduced a brand new type of machine for affixing stamps. They say that it's convenient and made with confidentiality in mind and that they plan to use it throughout the entire Maison Gaston. Take a look. Mr. Rodelet even gave me a key. Every department must have this key to activate the stamping machine. Anyway, it all sounds pretty formal and official. 
Why don't you take another nap? It seems like you could barely walk straight. Anyway, it's just getting a document stamped. There's that stamping machine to do it. There's no need to rush. No, we cannot afford any more delays. Let's go right away. Uh, like you said, it's only a stamp. It shouldn't take too much time. Please don't break stamp machine. Let's go talk to Thales. Thales, can I get my document stamped now? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, of course you can. Did you bring the key? And please, sign here too. I thought we wouldn't need to sign now that we've got the machine. Well, about that. The machine is still... has to be operated by someone, so you still have to sign in, don't you? It's a guarantee. But this machine is a perfect for maintaining secrecy. Without a key, even I can't start it up. But the document's here. No. Yeah, but the document's here, and make sure that they are... I think this should say put, not but. Uh-oh, did I find a typo in Genshin? I think I did, I think I found a typo. Put the documents here and make sure they are properly aligned. Then insert the key into the keyhole. Is that the automatic stamping machine? It looks really ordinary. Like this, and turn the key. Wait a second, just hold that pose. Don't move, I'll take a picture. Uh, why do you want to take a photo? I thought we were not taking photos anymore. When we first deployed these machines, Mr. Karsik specific, specifically specified that we must use a camera to make a record of everyone that came to get the document stamp. I need to move. Can't have this document in the frame. Recently, someone said that there's going to be a new document out there. No, a new document promulgated here at the Maison Gaston that specifically addresses secrets leaked through cameras. I don't want to be the first one to be made an example of. Uh, Traveler, let's wait outside. If we're in the photo, maybe we'll get sucked into some kind of baloney involving leaked secrets. Okay, I've taken the photo. Please start up the machine. I turned the key already. Why isn't it responding? That's impossible. I just repaired it. It can't have been broken again already. Oh no, the stamp machine, it's broken. Why can't we just go boop, boop, done. That is odd. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, reinsert the key and try again. Okay, here it goes. He takes the key out, puts it back in, the machine still doesn't move. It's not working, Thales. Think of something. Maybe you didn't align the document properly? You need to fit the document into the markings where the hidden trigger mechanism is inside. Does the document have anything to do with why the machine is not starting? Of course it does. Otherwise, how could the machine know that there are documents waiting to be stamped? It's an automatic machine, after all. I'm not operating it manually. Oh, for the love of... Fine, fine. I'll make sure it's properly aligned with all the markings. So, he puts it back in there. Still doesn't work. It's no good. It still isn't working. How could this be? Last time I gave it a little smack and then it started working properly. Well then, I can give it a smack. It appears we have no choice but to try it again. Are we getting close to the point where we resort to prayer to try and fix it? That is true. We can still pray, can't we? Lightly taps the machine. Boop, 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 boop. The machine replies to you with complete silence. Put a bit more oomph into the tap. The machine seems like it's too lazy to even care about your efforts. Smack it so hard that it, it will... <laughs> that it's later... I, I read it, its children will feel it. The machine breaks its silent and lets out a rusty, annoyed sound as though a very sleepy person who has just fell out of bed. 
Whoa, what's that sound? Don't tell Paimon the machine's completely broken now. And then, as if the machine sleepily found its slippers and stumbled <laughs> over to turn on the light, it begins to operate with a whirl and a crunk. Whoa, it's finally working. Okay, the auto stamper is well worn, but it works slowly and methodically. With several people on the brink of despair gazing at it intently, the machine slowly drops down the stamp <laughs> with all the speed of an elderly tent tortoise climbing a cliff. The stamp having taken its first step into the paper, seems to stagger around the doc around on the document before meandering slowly about and finally settling down to rest. Finally, the machine shivers and shudders and begins to slowly retract the stamp. Ha! Told you it would work! I truly don't understand what's so great about this machine. It's called automatic, but it's far slower than just doing it by hand. But it's perfect for maintaining confidentiality and secrecy. Look around. Even if we wanted to, we couldn't take the stamp out and use it for our own private purposes without permission. Don't act so smug. What if the machine completely breaks down Mr. Car and Mr. Carsix isn't here either? What then? Um, well, it'd still be okay. I have a backup key. To open this machine? No, to open the, the box in Mr. Karsik's office. There's a backup stamp in there. Traveler, let's hurry up. We mustn't bind, we must bind and staple the document so that we can deliver it to Mr. Delfort. I can't wait to be free from this nightmare. Time to go. Okay, we have all the stamps. The document has been bound, stapled. All that is left is to give it to Mr. DeFore, and then we can be done. Today, I'm going to get a good night's sleep and forget all about this. Then, I will take the day off and go find Estelle. Uh, Mr. Inada, do you have a moment? Yes, what's it about? No way did the reimbursement get approved so quickly. That it did not, but uh, Miss Monsieur Nouvellet sent someone to me and had me come ask you, why are you expensing a single keycap and not an entire typewriter? Uh, because, well, um, a single keycap fell off. That's why. Why would I need to expense an entirely new typewriter? You know, that does make sense. Perhaps, but our list of items eligible for reimbursement includes typewriters, not individual keycaps. As such, keycaps are a brand new payment item. Therefore, you must submit a written document to Monsieur Nouvellet explaining in detail why you are exp expensing a single keycap. Why does it feel like this is some kind of a bad joke and not actual government business? Is that really necessary? It does seem kind of ridiculous. So you want me to write a separate report to the Chief Justice explaining how I lost a single keycap. Uh, the Maison Cardinales said that it was a request from Monsieur Nouvellet himself. As if. The Maison Cardinales says everything is a request from Monsieur Nouvellet himself. But no one dares test the waters to see if it actually is the truth. Come now. Calm down and listen to me. As a Gestonnaire of the Maison Gaston, orders from the Chief Justice are an imperative, carrying out the full weight of the administration. Simply put, you have no choice but to write it. Not that this is a bad thing, you know. You can use this as a chance to show off your handwriting to him. Not everyone gets a chance to make a separate report to him. But I... Uh-oh. Hello, friends! Good news! I just caught someone leaking secrets with a camera, red-handed. Red -handed. A sterling example of negative behavior that we shall conclude in the proposal. As for this criminal, who knew the law yet unknowingly violated it. It is the fact that the very person who reminded everyone not to use cameras, least they expose secrets. Mr. Karks. Him? 
but it's because of him that Inada was up all night writing the proposal. And now he's been caught breaking the rules, no less. He used a camera to take multiple photos of his office and then distributed them to, dis to reporters. One of the photos included his own minutes from meetings and the public has now discovered the contents of the minutes are wildly different from what he said in his previous speeches. Rumors are swirling like mad. It appears that Mr. Karsik's office is about to become the biggest joke in Fontaine. Again. Wait a minute. What do the minutes have to do with the speech? Almost all of the contents of the speech were agreed upon in the meetings recorded by those minutes. Of course they're related. So why are they so different? Oh, that. That's actually quite normal. The purpose of the meetings and the minutes is to tell us exactly what the content, no, what content cannot appear in the speech. Karsix himself hasn't got the foggiest notion of what he's going to say and doesn't even have his own ideas. He's completely reliant on being reminded by his subordinates. So wait, where's Mr. Kar no, so wait, where's Mr. Karsix now? He's awaiting investigation in my office, after all. He did not only leak secret documents, but he also caused quite a storm in the city. I think he may have to stay there for a while. But what about my document? I finished writing it, so it's all stamped up and ready. I... I... <coughs> hey, 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 now. It's okay. You wrote it. It'll get sent out eventually. It wasn't a waste. Calm down. Please relax. Uh, Inada, Inada, are you there? Yes, Mr. Simin, you're finally here. Please, help me think of something. Don't talk about that now. Your keycap. Have you already expensed it? You, you think? I even have a report to write to Monsieur Nouvellet himself about it. Oh, drat. Take a look. Is this the keycap? You... Where did you find it? It was under my desk. Just as the cleaning staff were sweeping, they accidentally swept it over. Someone saw it and put it on my desk. I th thought it was a keycap from my own typewriter at first, so I put it away. But today I looked and I realized my typewriter wasn't missing a single keycap. So... This nightmare... When will it end? Traveler, what really is the meaning behind my work? He fainted. Oh no. Inada, Inada! He's rushed to the doctor. Oh, this is all my fault. If only I'd found the keycap earlier, things wouldn't have turned out like this. How is this issue about the keycap? Hello? That's right! Everything's a complete mess! He didn't even know what to do! Gal Galetto and Defour have also vanished! What's going on with these guys anyway? He cares about the meaning of his work. He doesn't know what the point is. Ugh. The kid's always thinking about those sorts of things. The point of work, such a grand topic, can't be easily explained in just a few words. You'll only heap more pressure on yourself by constantly worrying about such issues. Well, do you know the answer then? No, I've never even considered it. I just work. As for me, while I do think about it now and then, I have my own way of dealing with the stress. If you really want to find the answer, perhaps you could find some time to talk more. But right now, I've got to buy some fruit and go see Inoda. Now that's the main matter, and no mistake, I'm going to, s to help Inada apply for sick leave. He really needs to rest. Great. We'll have, we each have our tasks, but that's the way to get things done. We'll see you later, Traveler. Uh, that's weird. Where did I put that sick leave form? A sudden squall. Well, now what? Was that it? Does he go to the hospital and we don't find out? Yeah, that's it. Poor 
guy? Oh my gosh, I'm stressed from just his stress. How do you get residual stress from an NPC? That was infuriating. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's go see where that got us with our reputation. Surely between those two quests, we've got to be getting close. Let's see. 10 of 20. Oh, that got us three of them? Does that mean? It does! Reputation level two! Let's go! Oh, we get a light. And, oh, one of the tents from underground. I need these wings in my life like yesterday. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, that means, let's go do some bounties. Oh my gosh, what do they look like in Fontaine? I gotta know. Let's grab our requests. All right. He needs bullfruit, armored crab, and another armored crab. Okay, we need their drops anyway. And, ooh, we got a big bubble boy. Okay. Invulnerable to Animo, increase damage from sword-wielding characters. Let's check our map. Oh no, here comes the hiccups again. No! No hiccups! Okay, we're gonna have to swap out Kazuha for somebody else. Let's see, who are we gonna grab? Let's see, party. Let us see. It said increase from sword wielding characters. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm thinking maybe Ayaka. I await your instruction. I mean, I probably won't be leaning on her much since we have Ayato, but just something about having the siblings together is nice. Plus, she can run over the water, and that is awesome. Let's see. Let's look for the bubble dude. Where you at, bubble buddy? I'm here to smack you. Oh, you have a friend. Okay. That's how it's gonna be? Go ahead and boom. Oh, I didn't think about the fact that it's a hydro mob with a... Hydro DPS. I'm glad I grabbed Ayaka. That would have been unpleasant. Come on, we can take him out. Take flight. Thank goodness for Ayaka. A bitter pill to swallow. I almost messed up. <laughs> okay, let's come over here to our quests and grab some crabby chaos. Where's the crabby chaos? Right over. Yeah. Boom. I'm so excited that I can finally do my reputation stuff in here. <coughs> oh, wait. We can get Kazuha back. And we want our fly boy Sounds back. Sounds good to me. Because grouping is important. Let's throw some Mind Faisu love. Samiko. Right now. Be still. Ayato. And pull everybody in One together. Da -da -da -da. Oh, no drops. Okay, next up, 
Let's see. We had another one that was Krabby's, right? Krabby Chaos. That one's like right over there. Like in running distance. That's funny. That's nice though. I mean, having them nice and tidy grouped together. Everybody close together. Boom. And one more jump. Come on out. Emerge. Right here. Mind the side effects. A bitter pill to swallow. That was nice. That was fat satisfying. That was satisfying. All right, let's come over here and grab the bullfruit for our friendly Fontaine citizen. I think it's funny that no matter how high your AR, you're always going to do somebody else's grocery shopping. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, Baizu. Hopefully I have enough full fruit. I think I do. Here is your fruit, good sir. Oh. Okay. Now, let's go turn in and get our next bounty. Da -da -da -da. And claim our rewards. That's a lot of Mora. Okay. Next up, we have a Mirror Maiden. Invulnerable to Cryo. Animal resistance decreased. Okay, so our current party is perfect. Oh, don't check map. And... Let's go ahead and travel right here. Maybe? Okay, yeah, we're traveling. I was just making sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go, Miko, go! I hate Mirror Maidens. I mean, they're gorgeous. Oh my gosh, the artwork is amazing for them. But, whoo, they're mechanic y. I mean, she's gorgeous. Look at her. She's Emerge. beautiful. Emerge. A beautiful, beautiful, curvy lady. We appreciate the curvy lady. I would end One with nature. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. I'm always watching. Go me go. Right here. Right now. Oh, she's got all kinds of people taking all of her damage for her. Emergency. But when you look that good. You can get away with that. Mirror image into the wind. Boom. One with no more booms. Winter shall eventually come. Okay. She is down and here we go. One more bounty. Do do do. Okay, and we have one more. It's another bubble buddy. Electro, more electro damage, less animo damage. So you know what that means? That means Shogun. That means Miko gets to have her lady in the team. Tiny part of me just wants to like do a family team, but I'm not gonna do that. Stay close and you will live. Cause it would make sense cause they made the Wanderer Animo. <laughs> 
Venti out here stealing everybody else's kids. Oh, did I not select it? Thought I did. Check on the map. There we go. And boop. Here we go. We will start with some Shogun love. Inazuma shines eternal. We're gonna get some right out here. Bye, Mind the side effects. Illusion shattered. Shogun, a sight to be held. Right here, right now. Emerge. Oh, such a classy lady. <laughs> All right, and. That should be it for our bounties. I wish we could do more of them just for the money, like not necessarily for the experience, but that might be an unfair advantage. You know, imagine being able to sit here and farm the bounty bosses just for the Mora. I wouldn't complain, would not complain. Okay, so next week I will reach level three, which will get us, ooh, what is this thing? A crystal fly trap developed by a senior researcher named Fawitsky from the Fontaine Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering. After being properly deployed and inserted, inserting the required materials, this device will start working and lure crystal flies inside. Fawitsky once led research on a low temperature lightning device, which required a large amount of crystal cores as research materials, which led to the development of the crystal fly trap. However, the project was suspended for various reasons. We are here to commemorate the diligent Mr. Fawitsky. We sincerely hope that the, there are those who will carry on his research. The Institute will provide maximum support in any areas deemed appropriate. Okay, so a crystal fly trap? Please, pretty please, and thank you. I'm so bad at catching those little brats. And, boom, level 35. Give me the fun stuff. Did I go to the right spot? I did not. To the bag to use our handy dandy thingamajigs. Oh, I just saw that I have like seven. Was that seven base wishes? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull these. It's been a hot minute since, has it been a hot minute on this account? I think it has since I've pulled anything. Oh no, I'm only on page four since Mona. Never mind. I forgot, I got a C1 Mona now. Let's go ahead and see what we get. And boom! Lots of blue weapons for food. Is there a max amount of weapons we can have in our bag? I don't know. But I am, I'm reaching the limit, maybe, who knows. Let's check, is there a max amount of weapons that we can have in our bag? Oh, everything seems to have some kind of a, oh, no, I've only got 256 out of 2000. I'm nowhere near the limit. And boop. Personally, I think the idea of things staying the same forever is quite... Before we wrap up, I'm gonna go craft. And boop. I think that's everything. Am I? Yep, that is everything. Okay. 
Next round, we will probably be doing some more world quests. We have another one that propped up at that Shrine of the Seven that I'm curious about. Hopefully we find out what happened to the guy that tried to kill us. <laughs> that's my thoughts, because that's where we picked up his quest. I would like to know, because he deserves a piece of my mind. Okay, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. If you guys are enjoying the journey, want to continue progressing the storyline and goofing off with me, remember to do all the fun things, the likes, the follows, the subscribes, all that good jazz, because it appeases the algorithm Archon and it keeps me in your feed. Remember to check out all my other socials down below because I post updates on there pretty regularly and I stream on Thursdays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you all have a great day and stay safe. And